Hey, what's good, BT Gang? And we back with another banger, man. As you can see, we got a nice, nice summer freshie as always, man. It is summertime, bro. So we're going to hit y'all with these freshies heavy and hard. So today we're going over our Moth Milestone, which is a clone of the club, uh, not Club Day Nui, uh, Creed, uh, Millicent Imperial. This is all called our Moth Club Day Nui Milestone. As you can see, the bottle, gold, reflection. Hey, this bottle is dope to me, man. I'm not going to lie. This thing is really, really nice. I got it for 35 bucks from fragrancebuy.ca as compared to, I think Millicent Imperial is like 200 something for a 75 mil. So, you, you know, you do, do, do what you do with that price. You know what I'm saying? But this is what I'm rocking with Millicent Imperial. Beautiful, beautiful bottle, man. I love stuff that reflects. It is a fingerprint magnet, but you know it is what it is. Let's get a cloth and do what you do. But yeah, we're going to take a look at this thing. The cap is with the uh, diamond studs that all our model club dating weeds have. So the club dating weed on the side. Got the inside right here. You kind of see through the juice right there. That's pretty dope to me right there. Nice. You can see it. Y'all can see my fat head right there from my basketball days. But um, yeah, really, really nice. Got the bad stuff on the bottom. Typical Armand stuff. Atomizer here. Says Armand from the top. That's always dope. Let's go ahead and get a spray of this thing. And we're going to see how it does, man. Let's check out the Addy. Mm. Yep. It's in the air. And we're we gonna go ahead and hop into the notes and I'm gonna tell y'all what I think about it. So notes, top notes, we got C we got C notes, rare fruits, bergamot, and then middle notes, we got violet, white woods, and sandalwood. And then in the base we got musk, umbroxin, and velvet vet, vet What? Vetiver, vet, vetiver. Vetiver. <laughs> Jeez, man. But uh vetiver. But anyways, so in this one, I'm gonna tell y'all basically what it smells like to like a regular nose to a non frag hit. I'm not a frag hater myself either. As you can see, I can't even read vetiver. <laughs> but uh, it smells like a water, a salted watermelon, man. I'm not going to lie. You can kind of get the sandalwood in the background as well. But this is really heavy on that salted, like, citrus. And that, they said red fruit, red melon. I get I get a lot of watermelon, man. So salted watermelon. Out of the atomizer, it kind of smells like hairspray. I know that sounds bad, but it's not, it's, not, it, it's not hairspray at all, man. I promise. It smells really, really good to me, especially for a summer freshie, bro. So let's go ahead and get down to the performance, man. So I wore this today, actually, which is interesting enough. And I did the five sprays, y'all know. Each ear, neck, back, and shoulders. And I got about six hours, maybe seven. I think I, I got six. I got six. I'm not going to get a lot of you. I'm not going to push this. So the maybe seven. It, it, it is, it's not a beast performer like Armov, Cloudy and the Wheat Intense Man, or Armov Sea Eyes, which we're going to get to later. And or uh, untold, untold is pretty good as far as longevity goes. But I would say this is the weakest of the four moths that I have, which I just named, which is not a bad thing because, like I said, it's a summer freshie, and you're gonna have to apply, reapply some summer freshies. I don't per personally, I don't reapply because you know I don't like applying fragrances to myself when I'm not clean. But uh, yeah, th this is not it's not a beast mode fragrance, but it should get a lot done for you as a summer freshie. Um, CI is pretty nice. Longevity is, is like I said, seven hours, six hours and projection is nice as well. So for that first one to two hours, what about an arm's length maybe? Um, but the compliment factor in this is pretty high. I'm not gonna lie, but it, I have not got a comment from like a, a female or anything, but like my male coworkers are like, Ooh, what's that? You know, what's that? What you got on today? And I was like, uh, club Danny week milestone. I told him it's a clone of Millicent Imperial by Creed. They didn't believe me, especially when I told them the price. When I told us 35 bucks, they were like, what? Yeah, man. So this this thing is, is doing his job. It's doing his job. Because I got a friend. He has this fragrance. He has this milestone. And he asked me, he said, do you have a milestone? So that gets to the, the clone aspect of this. Does this smell like Millicene Imperial? I, I mean, I know I said milestone. But does this smell like Millicene Imperial? And in the air, apparently to my friend, it does. He thought I had it on. He literally thought I had on Millicent Imperial, which is, I think that's a good thing when it comes to these fragrances. Cause I paid $35. Like I said, Millicent Imperial goes for at least 200. And the performance on that one I heard is maybe three hours at the highest, which is not, you know, obviously the materials are better, like natural ingredients, yada, yada, yada. But still, if I'm paying $200, $300 for a fragrance and it's not gonna last me, yeah, I'm, I'm copying this, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, so the common factor is pretty high, you know, cause a lot of my like coworkers, they're like, what is that? Like, I'm like, you know, and I told him, I said, this is $35 fragrance. So a lot of them are buying this and they have that in the collection now. So, you know, I'm not a gatekeeper, you know, sometimes I am. If I really, really like a scent, maybe, but I'm not going to be stingy. You know, I'm not going to be that dude. But uh, seasons, I would say spring and summer, this thing will excel. I think in the winter, it's not going to push through the air. 
Maybe in the fall, on a hot fall day, maybe, maybe you can get away with this. You know, like I said, you can wear this anytime you want, but I feel like it performs best in the sun and the summer and spring. So, yeah, as far like I said, the price I got this for was 36 bucks, 35 bucks from FergusBuy.ca. So, really, really good deal in my opinion. Uh, this bottle is so dope. I don't know which bottle I like more, this or the Sea Hodge. Y'all probably can't see. No, actually, I have this one right here, too. I got to review the, review this, too. But the Untold bottle is very dope as well, man. Sea Hodge, Untold, and this one. I don't know which one y'all like. Y'all let me know. I might got to go Untold because that psychedelic look is really, really dope. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a very good fragrance. I think y'all should rock this for the summertime. This is really, really nice. I will say, I'll give y'all a warning. I would not blind buy. I blind bought it because I, you know, I feel like blind buying is like sixty percent of the fun. I'm not gonna lie. So when I first smell it, I know what I'm, I don't know what I'm getting. So when I like it, it's a good feeling. But this can lean a bit feminine for some males out there. I can see what they mean. This, this can lean a bit feminine. But me personally, as you can see, I got the pink shirt on, bro. You know, I don't know if I can tell it's pink. I don't really look too far into masculinity personally. Like I'm, I'm comfortable with myself. You know, I don't care. So I, I'll rock some of this that smells feminine. I feel like I can pull it off because I don't care, bro. But if you're one of those guys that you don't like to smell feminine, you know, in a way, then maybe you should sample this first and then see if you like it. But uh, yeah, it does, it, I, I can see I can see a lot of people saying that lean is feminine, but it doesn't bother me whatsoever, man. Because this thing is nice. I love it, especially when it's like can be compared to a two hundred dollar fragrance. Like I take that every day of the week. So rating for this, personally, I'll give it a seven point five. Um, just due to the longevity not being the longest, you know, I, I do like my fragrance to be beast mode when it comes to longevity and this isn't that, but it does last for a good six hours, which is nice. You know, some people don't need a, a 10 hour long, eight hour long fragrance. Some people want something they can throw on for a little bit, fresh out the shower, just do errands or something like that. And this is perfect for that. And also you can wear it to work like I did today and it'll be totally fine. Um, yeah. So in conclusion, I would say cop this fragrance. It does lean feminine. So females, if y'all want something that smells good, this is definitely for you. But males, if you want something that smells good as well and it leans a bit feminine and you don't care that it leans feminine, definitely try this out. It's only 35 bucks and I think you won't be disappointed, man. So, yeah. Our mom club did a week milestone. Y'all drop down y'all sent of the days down below, man. I thank y'all so, so much for tuning in as always. Y'all stay blessed. Stay peace. Love y'all.